Hi, today in GCP Sketchnote, let's learn about cloud load balancing. Aaron and Sam are talking about their increasingly popular app. They choose cloud load balancing to help them scale, reduce latency, cost, and increase security. It's a fully managed software-defined networking solution that supports millions of requests per second with single global Anycast virtual IP address. So if users from different locations are requesting your application, you don't have to rely on DNS load balancer to map the client IP to the WIP since it is a single Anycast WIP across the globe. From the front-end server, the request lands on the internal load balancer to balance load across the middleware or the data storage layers. Setting it up is easy. You set up the forwarding rule, target proxy, and the back-end service with managed instance groups or network endpoint groups. Using global HTTPS load balancing, you get automatic defense against layer 3 and layer 4 volumetric DDoS attacks and as a best practice, use Cloud Armor for layer 3 to layer 7 application level attacks such as cross-site scripting, geo-blocking or allowing, identity aware proxy and firewalls for authenticating and authorizing access to backend services. For deciding which load balancing option is right for you, consider factors such as internal versus external, global versus regional load balancing, type of traffic, HTTPS, TLS, UDP, etc. That's cloud load balancing. See you next time with another GCP sketchnote.